वर्णिवे शरमणीय दर्शन मंदुचिराननाज पूजित सुरनरोतमेर्मुदा धर्मनंदन महम विचित धर्मनंदन महम विचित ऑल माइटी सुप्रीम लॉर और बिलोड घनश्याम महाराज पाथमिक टू अ लिबरेशन पूज्य गुरु जी एंड ऑफ ड्यूटीज जय स्वामी नारायण टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट वन फोर्टी चैप्टर ऑफ भक्त चिंता में सदगुरु सुन रिस्कुनानंद स्वामी डिस्क्राइब मैनी मैनी इंसिडेंट इन दिस चैप्टर इन फर्स्ट सदगुरु निस्कुनानंद स्वामी हिराट हिराट एन इंसिडेंट ऑफ अ ड्यूटी from a north gujarat region there was many villages and many towns in north gujarat in which thousands of devotees reside even today there was also uh, not only at the time of bhagwan swami narayan but also today there are so many temples and there are so many devotees are living in those re- uh, in that region now that region is called as the ndavya desh uh, meaning north part of gujarat in that there was a small village by the name of nardipur in that village a uh, bhagwan swami ran town's duty by the name of tita bhagat he was living there peacefully but the problem was that there was no any other devotee except this didha bhagat in the village all the other villagers they are the non believer they were not believe in bhagwan swami narayan his fact his virtuous saints nothing now just you think just as in your school you are only a duty of bhagwan swami narayan you wear a kanthi and tilak chandra on your forehead at the time you definitely be a, make a, uh, the other students the uh, they definitely make a jokes on you and also tease you by speaking uh, any words or by any kind in the same way tita bhagat has the same situation he was only a devotee in a village there was no any other devotee in the village not uh, nearby and that's why he had to struggle for worshiping bhagwan uh, those who are the non believers they always taste tita bhagat by saying that you are duty of god alone in the village we are not a duty and that's why your god is if your god is true then he, he definitely will come to you at the time of your death not only that but the some other people of the village they also tease the abogat by saying your god is coming to you at the time of your death with a divine celestial vehicle a divine plane then tita bhagat didn't give any kind of reply he just said it's okay and again tita bhagat engaged himself in devotion of bhagwan swami narayan in this way the, all of the villagers they always try to tease tita bhagat but Tita Bhagat has nothing with those non-believer people and that's why he always remain calm and he always engage himself with the devotion of Bhagwan Swami Narayan now after many years passed away and the time of death of Tita Bhagat was there now Tita Bhagat has no any kind of worldly desire and as he had for he had offer all kind of devotion to bhagwan swaminarayan throughout his life and that's why bhagwan swaminarayan himself 
definitely will come to Tita Bhagat at his time of death. And eventually that was the day of Tita Bhagat's death. With the surprise of all of the villagers, many many divine celestial vehicles come to the village Nardipur. All those people who always teased Tita Bhagat by saying that your God will come with the celestial vehicle to to you to take you in his divine abode. In this way, those who teased every day Tita Bhagat, they all witnessed this incident. Bhagwan Swamiran himself not came alone but with the many many devotees and thousands of santo and that's why there are many thousands of celestial vehicles over there in the village all the people of the village they they witnessed this incident that everyone said i have seen a celestial vehicle meaning a divine plane pass over from my house the another people the, uh, the other person he also said the same that i have also see the i have also seen the same divine plane or my house in this way bhagwan swami himself saw this miracle to all of the villagers who always speak ill of our satsang and about even bhagwan swami narayan still a devotee is faithful devotee has no any kind of doubt and he remain strong and he remain attached to his own dharma meaning his own religion and that's why bhagwan himself come at the time of his death now everybody everyone in the uh, in the village they all witness this many thousands of divine planes and divine santo and devotees in the village at that time just as somebody goes from one village to another then as someone says okay goodbye we will see you again in the same way tita bhagat every tita bhagat said everyone this is my bhagwan swami narayan this is my santo and this is my devotees and now they all specially come to me because this is my last time and now i am also going with my bhagwan to his akshardham and by saying this tita bhagat tita bhagat uh, left his body and he goes to akshardham this is what the real incident happen at the time of bhagwan swami narayan now again the another incident written in the same chapter sadguru nishkuranand swami wrote the same same kind of incident in this chapter the another incident happen in the village uh, in the town of pratij uh, at uh, the same reason meaning uh, north gujarat there were many devotees lived in that town and one new de- uh, new devotee also joined our satsang his name was kanji kansara before he joined satsang he was not a devotee of bhagwan swami narayan but as many good qualities many many virtues remain in kanji kansara's life and that's why when he once listen our santos divine discourses and when he even first time came in a contact of other devotees when he saw the lifestyle of a devotee uh, many virtues remain in life of devotees and santo when he listen about bhagwan swami narayan his glory and greatness then he realized that what i believe till today 
that was wrong and bhagwan swami nar is true manifest god on this earth and that's why he decided to join our satsang fellowship now after joining our fellowship he become gradually a staunch devotee of bhagwan swami nar but his relatives and his family members they are they were not a devotee of bhagwan swami nar and that's why they believe in another sect now the the relatives of kanji kansara and the family member of kanji kansara they gather one day in a house then all those who gather in kanji's house they all said kanji what kind of deficiency in our sect then why are you why are you joining another sect and giving up our own sect then kanji said no i have realized that this is wrong and this is true i have realized bhagwan swami narayan sect is very good and the virtuous people only remain in that sect and in your sect meaning the other sect besides this bhagwan swami narayan sect those who believe in other they all are not living good life they all has one or another vices in their lives even their sect motivates them to perform some kind of sin or some kind of wise or bad habit in a life and bhagwan swami narayan sect bhagwan swami narayan and his santo they always preach a message of virtuous life and that's why this is a true sect and that's why i joined this sect but those who are non believers those who believed in another sect they again say to kanji bhagat if you are a true devotee of bhagwan and if you your god is true then please hold this red iron ball there were only uh, there was a iron ball and they have heated it till it became a red till it became a red and this red hot iron ball now the, those who gather in kanji's house his family members and his relatives they challenge kanji kansara if you and your god is true then hold this red hot iron ball in your hands now kanji pray to maharaj maharaj you are a supreme god i believe in you i have no any others refuse or i have no any others fear i am fearless because of you so please do whatever you like to do i have no worry i have no tension nothing now praying this kanji kansara without any kind of fear in his mind or in his action nobody can see any kind of fear on kanji's face and without fear kanji hold up that red hot iron ball and he had hold for many time now after putting it he saw his hands to the others see i have no no any kind of injury on my hands now in this way kanji kansara had saw the miracle to to those who gather in his house and those who never believe in bhagwan swami narayan and his sect in this way bhagwan swami narayan himself gave a proof that he always uh, remain ready to protect his duties and he is a true god he is only the supreme personality on this earth now again 
the third incident written in the same chapter that was that was a uh, uh, one devotee by the name of dada bai in the village of waso in charot region there are so many devotees of this same village waso also living in us right now now this dada bai had uh, one daughter her name was jamuna now she had attained a state of samadhi meaning trance in that state she every day used to go to maharaj in aksardham in samadhi and not only that but in samadhi she always had darshan of bhagwan swami narayan in aksardham as well as other muktos and after having darshan she also listen all kind of talks delivered by maharaj now once upon a day as uh, as usual she went to maharaj in his in aksardham in a samadhi on earth on her house she just sat in a meditation position and closed her eyes and after some time as she meditated upon the form of bhagwan swami narayan after some time she went to aksardham not with this body her body remained in her house and his consciousness his soul that went to aksardham now in aksardham she got a darshan of bhagwan swami narayan and other muktos she also sat there for listening bhagwan swami narayan's talks now she had listened carefully what bhagwan says now after that as maharaj uh, all the discourses and everything is over then she requested maharaj maharaj please grace me with any kind of your prasadini vastu meaning any kind of things that you have used at the time bhagwan swami narayan in aksardham at the time took taking a shower and after shower he dry up his body with a towel now as jamuna requested to maharaj for any kind of sanctified things then maharaj gave her this towel now as jamuna came back to his body on the earth on earth in her house she was sitting on meditation position closed her eyes and uh, putting both of her hand on his, on her lap now when she came back when she opened his open both of her eyes and then she found a towel in her hand this is what the miracle this is what the evidence that bhagwan swami narayan himself not only present on this earth but also forever present in aksardham not only that but bhagwan himself grace some special devotees with her divine such kind of things just as jamuna got a divine towel from aksardham to here on this earth in the same way or puja guru ji has the same thing many devotees have got the darshan of guru ji's morning puja in every day's puja guru ji had a wide silken cloth uh like a handkerchief that piece of cloth is also divine that is not of this world that is not produced in this world because just as jamuna got a got a towel from maharaj from aksardham in the same way 
Guruji also got the same piece of cloth from Akshardham, from direct from Maharaj, and and that piece of cloth. Even today, we can have darshan in Guruji's puja. So, this is not a past of our sect. This is not a past of a glory of Bhagwan Swami Narayan. But even today, those who are such a devotee, those who have such kind of love for Bhagwan Swami Narayan and Bhagwan Swami Narayan himself, give an evidence to the to his devotees. But the condition is that. For that, we have to become a true duty. In the same way, the another incident described by Sadguru Nishkuran Swami in the same chapter, and that was, this is a different kind of incident. In that, in uh, in this incident, there was the duty of the one of the another village of Charotar that is Changa, and the devotee's name was Nathu Bhat. Now this devotee, he had a uh, many uh, his children, and as Bhagwan Swaminarayan's divine power, those children even they didn't understood anything. About this world, nor they understand, nor they understand anything about satsang. But still, as Bhagwan Swami and divinely graced those children, they have got a status or a high position of samadhi. Every day, these children they all sat in meditation position, even at their age of playing. The same age, the uh, the other children of the same age, they they were playing in the village, and these Nathu Bhats children, they all sat for meditation, and they also in the same way, just as Jamuna also went to Akshardham in Samadhi, in the same way, these small children. They have also the same status, and they also got darshan of Bhagwan Swami Narayan in Samadhi in Aksardham. Now, the different thing from the another incident that whenever these children went to Aksardham to Maharaj, and after having darshan, Maharaj always gave them anything. uh something prasadi sometimes they came back with panda sometimes they came back with patasa and sakar and in this way any kind of eatables they have from aksardham maharaj himself gave this prasadi to those children now one day bhagwan himself distribute prasad to all those children as well as at the time the season was summer and as bhagwan had covered his body with all flower clothes and flower ornaments all of these flowers ornament and clothes bhagwan gave to these children now when those children came back to their body they found Prasad or panda, patasa, sakar, all these tables, and they also found this uh, divine flower they have never seen on this earth. Now they all got surprised, and they even this those children they have no sense of this world. Still, they distributed all this prasad and this sanctified flower, divine flowers, to the devotees in the village. The another incident. written by Nishkudan Swami in the same chapter and that is this is the story of the same village of Changa in that village the one person his name was Vasandas 
but he was not a devotee of bhagwan swami narayan not i believe in any other avatar of god or meaning he he was non believer he he didn't believe in god he said there 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 is no god in this world and there is nothing like god now he had a business of farming and he must up his time passed in his farm and doing plowing the farm and cutting the crops and everything in the farm and he never speak even once name of bhagwan now the one most wise in his life that was his hungry nature who had come to his farm even for visit he every time quarrel with the those who came to his farm because he has a very strong and very angry nature now after some time as he had not worship even a single time to bhagwan nor he even speak once in a life holy name of bhagwan and that's why when he got death after his death he become a snake a king cobra in his own farm now whoever came or uh, whoever accept his son came to his farm he always by those who try to enter in his farm and even an animal and try to enter his farm he also fight with that uh, the animals and even kill the animals and the person now once upon a time as everyone of the village meaning all the villagers of changa they never they have they all have stopped to go to this farm they all have fear that one snake was there and who ever try to enter that farm he definitely will be killed and that's why they never go there now once upon a time bhagwan swami himself went to this village changa now this farm has one well and that's why bhagwan swami had selected this well for his daily routine meaning bath uh, shower and everything once early morning bhagwan himself went to went to this farm and he sat by the well and bhagwan swamran brushing his teeth in the morning now this black king cobra actually wasn't as in his previous birth the original owner of that farm in the form of snake he came there but as he saw bhagwan he realized this is the supreme god himself how can i kill him how can even try to kill him then at the time he got a darshan of bhagwan and bhagwan swami and himself bhagwan himself so with the grace on this snake and that snake he had he had taken an oath that from this day as i have a darshan of bhagwan himself i will never try to kill anybody even i will never try to bite any animal or any person and from that day as he got the darshan of bhagwan swami narayan he himself become calm his angry nature his strong nature he all he had given up but as he became very calm he never tried to uh, beat any animal or any 
person and that's why those who knew this message that the snake remained calm and he never bit any person or any animal nothing then all the villagers they also try to beat that snake now once upon a day vasanda's son has also a son meaning his grandson once he came into his farm he saw this snake passing by the farm and he uh, very strongly throw a stick on that uh, on that snake then the snake try to uh, the snake uh, but that was not a snake but wasn't that as that uh, that son's uh, grandfather himself uh, uh, because of bhagwan swami and his divine grace he got a speech and even snake spoke at that day that as i have a darshan of bhagwan swami and himself and from that day i have given up all of my bad nature of anger and killing others then why are you trying to kill me i am not now trying to kill anybody then why are you trying to kill me and i have as i have bhagwan swami and his darshan and i also have darshan of his santo and that's why i will definitely will go to bhagwan swami and his divine abode when my death came now in this way when the time of death of the snake come bhagwan himself divinely present over there and took this vasandas in his aksardham now the last incident written in this chapter 140 bhakta chintamani there there was a village of piplav in that village there was a lady's duty by the name of hitbai she also had a samadhi every day now in uh, as she had a devotion of bhagwan swami narayan in her heart and she every day went to aksardham in samadhi only for the darshan of bhagwan now once she went to aksardham in samadhi while staying on uh, staying his body on this earth not see in her body but her body remain on earth and she went to aksardham once bhagwan swami and himself gave her a uh, prasadi of sakar then when she came back in her body then in her hands she found a sakar many pieces of sakar and that's why after coming back to her body on this earth those who are gathered there those who are devotees and those who are non devotees they all witness this and they ask her how you can have the sakar as we have seen you that nothing in your hands then how is it possible then hit by she explain everything that bhagwan swami narayan is divine uh, bhagwan swami narayan has divine abode that is aksardham and i went in samadhi to that aksardham and divinely bhagwan swami narayan gave me this prasadi in this way hit by distributed this prasadi to all of the people who gather over there and after after this incident those who witnessed this incident they also uh, become a devotee of bhagwan swami narayan in this way bhagwan swami narayan himself many times shows such kind of miracles 
there are many reason behind that one reason to fulfill his beloved devotee's desire the another thing is that to show a miracle to those who are non believers so that they can even believe in god and the third one is that to give a proof that bhagwan swami narayan is a supreme lord and he manifest lord on this earth and that's why sadguru niskunan swami had read down so much incident so much this kind of incident in which bhagwan swami narayan himself give a proof that i am manifested god on this earth i am a supreme personality of godhead i am a lord of lords this is a proof and that's why sadguru niskunan swami read down this much in, in, incident in this bhakta chintamani in this way by explaining this much incident in this chapter sadguru niskunan swami concluded this 140th chapter of bhakta chintamani shri ganeshyam maharajani jay श्रीपति श्रीधर सर्वेश्वर भक्तिधर्माज वासुदेव हरे माधव केशव कामद कारण स्वामीनारायण नीलकंठम भजे श्री घनश्याम महाराजनी जय